Hey, I'm Alex Radcliffe, Chief Marketing Officer of GameFound, and today I'd like to talk about a few exciting things, including higher funding totals, improved communication tools, and a better, more streamlined experience for both backers and creators across a variety of, well, areas on the platform. But let's start off with StretchPay. We've been talking about StretchPay for a while now. That's going to be the installment payments that backers can now back projects using installment payments and stretching out their payment over a variety of months. And we've started seeing it implemented in a variety of projects, and those projects are seeing around 15% of their pledges coming in through through stretch pay. So it's being used, it's being utilized, it's been clearly something that backers are finding some degree of benefit in, and it's something that it, on the projects that are using it, they're seeing an average of 30% higher on the backers who use stretch pay, meaning it is being used on those larger totals and possibly giving backers the opportunity to spend a little bit more on the thing that they might have wanted just because of the flexibility of the payment. In one project in particular, we saw that people who use stretch pay were spending an average of 80% more. So it's something that's clearly finding its niche, it's clearly finding its audience. We're very happy with how it's being useful for both backers, for creators, and as usual, the reminder that for now at least, it's still free to backers and creators alike. It's just a tool to use that might help you as a backer, as a creator, and we're very happy with the results so far. Past that, we have the Creators Digest coming up soon. Creators Digest is going to be a summary of recent actions and comments and everything else on your project. There's going to be basically a single email that goes out and you can decide how often you get that email or you could unsub from it if you find it not helpful, although I think you will probably find it helpful. It's basically a bunch of information in one place all at once. The number of new and canceled pledges since you last got it, changes in followers, new comments, highlighting heated discussions so you can jump in and either uh, add your voice, quell things, or just watch from the sidelines, whatever you prefer. But it gives you a bunch of tools and opportunities, and of course, as with everything we do on GameFound, you can expect that to be something we constantly iterate and develop and improve upon based on what we see, based on your feedback, and in general, by the way, please give us any feedback you, you want on any of the things that you're seeing in this video, any of the things you see in any blog post or video ever, let us know, because your feedback is a huge part of how and why we do different things on the platform. From there, we have Late Pledge and Late Pledge Manager configuration. This is something that in the past, you had to reach out to your account rep, rep and you had to talk with them and tell them you're ready for these changes, and you no longer have to do that. Now, instead, we have the opportunities and the tools for you to be able to submit things for a review yourself. You can go through the steps when you're trying to move your project from crowdfunding to Late Pledge or from Late Pledge to Pledge Manager. You can now go through those steps on your end, making whatever changes you need, and then submit it for review where of course we will still look it over and deal with you and engage with you as needed if needed and additionally in addition to the fact that you can now do this yourself we're also adjusting the time gap previously you needed to have a 30-day delay between crowdfunding and late pledge and we've moved that to 15 days instead and there's no delay at all for pledge manager so when you're ready to move from pm from late pledge to pledge manager you can just go ahead and do that no issue at all again hopefully makes this makes your life a little easier a little less need for back and forth and just gives you again more tools streamline all of that stuff and then lastly, we have GameFound Currency Conversion. This is something we've talked about in the past, but we're launching it. And this is basically giving backers the opportunity to engage in dynamic currency conversion, to basically change their own, to, to choose their own currency conversion instead of having to deal with whatever bank or whatnot. When they go through the, the pledging on the project, they can simply select the currency. This will give them almost always a lower rate than whatever op other opportunities they have instead. So make sure to check that out yourself, of course. Make sure to do your own due diligence. But for the most case, for the most part, it should give you a lower rate than your other options. And this is something that, for technical reasons, will only be available on crowdfunding. More specifically, it's available in all stages of crowdfunding. It's available on projects that were using GameFound for crowdfunding, as opposed to projects that are using it simply for late pledge and have their project launched somewhere else. Hopefully you find some or all of these useful. As, you, as I mentioned already, let us know in the comments down below, which of these are you most intrigued by? Do you plan on using stretch pay on your next project or not and or why? What other things do you think would be useful to see in a creator's digest and bear with us as we rapidly try to add those or change things to make this as useful as possible? In any case, and as I mentioned, as always, I'm Alex Radcliffe, Chief Marketing Officer of GameFound. Please let us know in your feedback in the comments down below and I hope you have a good one.